evening everyone, Karen's Wild here with Wild Child and welcome back to my channel. So in today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a craft project and that is how to preserve an animal skull. Um, before we begin, there's a list of things that we need. Uh, first off, obviously, the skull. Um, and then you need a soft brush, toothbrush, glue, hydrogen peroxide, and a bucket of water, which I've got right next to me. Um, I just got all these things from the family dollar. Typically buying like one of those big jugs of glue is a lot easier for this. Um, not having a makeup brush or kids toothbrushes are typically ideal. The toothbrush is going to be to clean it. Uh, the nice soft brush could just be like a paintbrush. And that's what's going to be used to put the glue on it. Step one is going to be washing the skull. So this skull doesn't really have um, any like skin or any of that on it. So that's not really a concern. Some people will uh, douse it in bleach. I douse it in hydrogen peroxide because bleach can ruin it. Um, so basically I just put a bunch of hydrogen peroxide in a bucket of water um, and then I'm going to take the toothbrushes and scrub it. Just make sure to be super duper careful uh, because bones can be fragile. Some people might think this is completely and totally disgusting and I'm sure PETA will be on my ass eventually, but welcome to living out in the country. We have literal competitions of who can find the most bones and bring them home. So with that being said, as you are cleaning the skull with the toothbrush, make sure you try and get all the little cracks and crevices. If you need to, pour water over it with, over it with a cup and just try and get literally everything you can off of it. Get all the dirt off of it um, just to make sure it's as clean as humanly possible because once we start gluing it, we don't want to end up gluing dirt on uh, the actual skull. Next step, we are going to put the skull in clean water now, mix it with some hydrogen peroxide and let it soak overnight. Uh, this is supposed to let it uh, whiten the skull, whiten the bones and all of that fun stuff. You might notice that right here the skull got pretty white, but the jaw bones did not, so I'm going to soak the jaw for a little bit longer. then start painting it with glue. Uh, one of the reasons that I like to paint it with glue um, is just because it kind of keeps the skull from continuing to break. Um, you know, over time, little pieces are going to keep falling off and using glue is going to help kind of prevent that. Little pieces are still going to fall off over time. Um, but like I said, the glue kind of just helps to keep it a little bit more intact. Um, then just make sure you try and get um, every single part that you can. It's going to be a little bit difficult, especially getting inside the skull. Um, but again, the more you're able to douse it in glue, um, the better. And just make sure that you don't have a lot of clumps of glue um, is that will affect how it dries. And that, my friends, is how you preserve an animal skull. Um, you may not really be able to see it, but now there's kind of like a glossy um, finish to it now just because of the type of glue that I use. Some people will go over it um, two or three times. They might soak it longer. They might wash it longer. It kind of just depends and obviously, you know, personal preference. Um, if there's still skin on it, you might have to blow the skin off. Um, fortunately, this one did not have any. Um, there's a very unique story behind the skull. Um, and I kind of really like the story, you know, how it was found and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll save that story another time. Uh, so with that being said, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or podcast, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, and don't forget that if you guys have any, um, ideas or things that you want me to touch upon or post upon, whether that be on YouTube, podcast, Facebook, Instagram, uh, don't hesitate to either drop them in the comments or reach out to me personally. Uh, so have a great, wonderful rest of your guys' day. Stay strong, stay tuned, stay wild.